So um, I guess first, just kind of talk about, um, you know, obviously you guys had a pretty decent fall and then um, just the team's energy, like heading into the off season workouts. Sure, yeah, um, I think that the team were in a really good place after the fall of having such a successful successful season, first winning record in Division One era, and a lot of goals scored. I think we were in the top 20 in the country for goals scored and for our goals against average. So definitely a lot of positivity going into the spring. Um, the team were very excited and uh, something that we kind of challenged them to attain throughout the spring with us having lost so many senior players, because I think we had, uh, we had a class of 12 leave the program. So it was, you know, can we get 10% better as a program? And so that was in the weight room, that was on the field, that was off the field. That was kind of in all facets of each individual's life that would hopefully kind of accumulate into um, us becoming even more successful program. So we certainly challenged the team with that. Uh, it was a pretty rigorous um, practice schedule. Um, you know, we had a lot of challenges we threw at them with them being such a, a young group. But you know, these, these ladies are remarkable and they, were, they rose to every challenge. And I think that throughout the spring, you know, we definitely improved a lot. And um, I think that, you know, the ladies are gonna be excited and ready for the fall. So kind of, uh, kind of elaborate a little bit more about some of the, you know, I guess some of the challenges and, and you know, I guess just examples of who maybe maybe stepped up or things like that throughout the, uh, the off season. Sure. I think that one of the biggest challenges were when you have a group of 12 seniors um, who've been through the program and have a lot of experience with playing time and then you have a lot of youngsters so we had 10 freshmen this year i think having them now step in and have to fill those gaps um you know they're extremely talented as, as a group um but i think that just so many underclassmen having to now step up into those those shoes um there was certainly some growing pains in there where you know that you have to get onto the field and experience some positivity but also some um you know, there's got to be some sort of adversity as well. We certainly went through those waves throughout the spring, to say the least, but I think that the team came out at the other end um, better for it. So, um, you know, we, have a, we place a huge emphasis in the spring on um, player development, and that was one of the challenges was not just developing as soccer players, but more than anything, developing as, um, you know, tactically and physically. So developing in the weight room, but, t but also developing cognitively as a player, we've been able to step up and have that confidence, that belief and that know-how of how to get it done on the field. So that was definitely a huge progression that we went through this spring. So, and I guess just kind of transitioning that uh, with all the stuff they learned, you know, talk a little bit about your guys' schedule and, and what you saw on the field with that. Sure. So we played four games. We, we went two and two. Um, and it was exactly what we thought. We thought we'd, there'd be, it can be a roller coaster ride with being super talented, being athletic, being technical, having a lot of very good players, but also being relatively young. Um, I think defensively, that was something we had to figure out. Um, the four defenders that we played back there this spring, um, they are all f former forwards. So putting forwards into defense, you know, you, you never know how that's gonna go, but we, we moved Hannah Olsen and Sarah Doran back there. And I think by you know the third and fourth games, they really kind of made that their home and they're looking very comfortable, but they had to experience going up against some very good players to, to kind of get to the point where they, they everything kind of clicked with them. So first game was great. You know, I think we played against Northern State. We have a new coach, very good, uh, very good coach, very good guy. And um, yeah, I think we scored six or seven goals. It was really good. And we, we are very good going forwards. We knew that. Um, obviously, we scored 41, 42 goals this past fall. We have a lot of really good attacking players returning. So I know from the front end, we're going to be very good going forward, but it was you know, how are things gonna look on the back end? Um, we played NDSU who have two very good forwards after that. And that was kind of more the game where we learned a lot. You know, they, they definitely exposed our, our young and inexperienced back line. Um, we, we got beat by a couple of goals in, in that game, but I felt as the game went on, we actually improved a lot defensively, which was nice to see. Uh, went and played against a very good Bemidji team after that. Um, and again, you know, young team got beat one nothing, uh, but, Realistically, Bemidji took their one chance and it was a really nice goal. Um, and then by the last game, we kind of knew where our team was and we kind of went back to, if this was an actual, if this wasn't a spring exhibition, if this was an actual game, how do we think we would set our team up now? And we, were, and we played against a very good Augustana team who beat us a couple of years back and uh, we beat them, I think it was 4 nothing, and it was a good performance. The, we kind of went, okay, this is what we think we're gonna do in the fall. This is how we think we're gonna play stylistically. And it was great. You know, We had four different goal scorers. Um, we, we created a ton of chances. We probably could have scored seven or eight goals. We were very good at the back defensively. So I think by the end of the spring, we reached where we thought our balance was gonna be in terms of 
how we think we're going to move forward towards the fall. So definitely a good, um, definitely a productive spring. And I think we, we feel at this point in time, we kind of know what we have moving forward from the returning group. And I guess just talk a little bit more about that, I guess. What what do you guys see? I guess what are the next goals that you guys saw for you? We're, we're going to be, I think we're going to be very good going forward. I, I really do. I think that, um, you know, we had Olivia Knox who had a great freshman year. Cassie Giddings had a great freshman year. But there's other people who are ready to step up. Mimi Eden is really ready to take up the mantle of becoming a goal scorer. Mara Yapello is also in that, in that boat. And Megan Wright as well. So I believe we've got five, six people in the returning group who are extremely talented, are gonna be very dangerous going forward. So I think we're gonna be extremely dynamic in the attack with four or five different pieces, and that excludes the, the pieces that we have coming in this fall too.